next cut is actually a classical cut. It's called the Chateau Potato, the Chateau cut. Now there's a lot of discussion about the Chateau, how many sides it should have. Well actually, the wording is it should be olive shaped. Some people say eight, some people say seven sides. But I keep it at seven because when you sit on a plate, which I'll show you, you'll have three coming up one side and three coming up the other. So this is called a Chateau Potato. Now this, the actual shadow can be different sizes really, 4 centimeter, 5 centimeter, 6 centimeter. so it's up to you what you're actually having it for. And a lot of people cook it in stock and then they call it a fondant. But there's a, a, a big skill to get making a proper shadow. First is how to hold it. You hold it like this, and you see how my finger moves? That's how it moves the potato. So then I start, you use a nice little turning knife. Not a paring knife, which is a flat one. This is a turning knife. You see the curve in the knife. So here we start here. I put the knife up here. You see my thumb? Yep. You see my thumb here down the base? And then it slowly just turns in. These here would use for mashed potato. Then the next cut I'm starting here. You see I start to get the shape in here? See my finger pulling it around? Again and again so the finger pulling around so then it's a matter of just fine tuning it the shape you want it again it's a barrel shape when you're finished you can just square them all up make sure they're all got the same size at the ends there you have a basic chateau potato.